You can submit an electronic expense claim through the member's portal by entering the Submit Expense Claims page and then clicking on the Add New Claim tab. Please note that claims may only be submitted online up to three months after your event. To download the latest version of the Advanced Request Form, Family Care Form, or Direct Deposit Form, please check the Documents tab. Before you start the submission process, please ensure that all receipts have been scanned and are clearly legible before attaching them to your e-claim. All expenses require documentation, except mileage when free parking is available. Your documentation may include scanned receipts, approval emails, etc. All grievance, arbitration, honorariums, or OPSU childcare worker expense claims must still be submitted on paper expense claims at this time. Once you've entered into your e-claim, you'll be able to add your expenses. These include mileage, meals, family care, miscellaneous expenses like airfare, cell phone, hotel, parking, print postage, registration or affiliation fees, supplies, taxi, train, bus, own time, and lost wages. If you are submitting a mileage expense, please click the Add New tab under the Mileage section. A pop-up will appear where you will input your mileage for each day. For each date of travel, you must submit a parking receipt or provide an explanation of parking and location to ensure your expense is processed properly. You'll need to provide the to and from destination points in order to be fully reimbursed for mileage. If you stayed overnight at a hotel and parking was included, you must indicate that in the notes section and then input a new expense for your return mileage. After you've inputted all the information, click Save. To submit a meal expense, click the Add New tab under the Meals section and a pop-up will appear. Select the date of the expensed meals. Then, click the boxes on the left side to select the meals that are being expensed that day. After the boxes are selected, the amount will automatically populate and you will see the total amount expensed for that day. Each date in which meals are being expensed must be inputted separately. If you are claiming meals for a dependent, you must select the dependent's name from the drop-down list provided. If the dependent is under 12, please select the Child Under 12 tab. After inputting all the information in the meal expense pop-up, click Save to continue. To claim family care expenses, click the Add New tab under the Family Care section. If you are claiming any family care expenses, the family care form must be completed and attached to each e-claim. Members are able to download and print the family care form in the members portal under the documents header. You must select the Add Dependent option at the top of the page and input all the relevant information. After the dependent information is inputted, you will be able to add the dependent's meals or family care expenses for the current expense claim and all future claims. If OPSU has provided childcare at the event, please check off the OPSU provided childcare box and attach the family care form. You will only need to complete the bottom portion of the family care form and include your signature. If you've received family care at your residence, please select the date and the hours and then attach the family care form. After inputting the information, the total amount will automatically populate using the current OPSU family care rates. You must create a new expense for each date that family care was received. Miscellaneous expenses. This section is for members to claim hotel expenses, parking expenses, train, taxi, bus expenses, airfare expense, cellular phone expense, print postage expense, registration, affiliation fee expenses, supplies expense, own time, and lost wages. All of these expenses require appropriate documentation in order to be reimbursed. Please attach all documentation, including receipts or approval emails, to your expense claim. Please note, own time will be paid when you use Lou days, accumulated credits, or vacation days. Own time will not be reimbursed for an unpaid work day. Claims for own time must be supported with documentation from your employer confirming the type of credit being used. Lost wages must also be supported with documentation from your employer confirming the standard rate of pay and the usual hours worked for the date in question. To submit a hotel expense, click the Add New tab in the Miscellaneous Expense section and select Hotel under the Type drop-down menu. Input the date of stay and the amount charged. Then click Browse 
to add the scanned copy of your receipt. If you have a standing human rights accommodation, please indicate so in the notes section. Ensure that you've attached an itemized hotel receipt, which displays your full name in order to receive full reimbursement. Please be reminded that if you've paid for parking at the hotel, you must claim the parking expense separately. To submit a parking expense, click the Add New tab in the Miscellaneous Expense section and select Parking under the Type drop-down menu. Please input the date, the amount, and attach applicable parking receipts for that date. This could be your hotel receipt with parking charges. To submit a taxi, train, bus expense, documentation is required. Please identify the specific type of travel you are claiming in the notes section. Please note, if you've used more than one method of transportation, please add up the total amount and attach all applicable receipts that equal the total amount claimed. To submit an expense claim for airfare, you will be required to attach a completed and itemized receipt or itinerary for your travel. Please note, only the most economical means of transportation will be approved. Pre-approval is required for the purchase of airfare when business class or higher is claimed. After inputting all applicable expenses for the e-claim, please click on the Submit button located at the bottom of the page. After submitting the e-claim, you will have an opportunity to review all your submitted expenses before confirming your e-claim. Once you've confirmed your e-claim, you will be directed back to the Submit Expense Claim page and the status of your claim will indicate Pending Approval. You will see when the claim has been processed because the claim status will change from Pending to Paid. What happens if the event claim status states did not attend? OPSU will update all attendance registers within 48 hours after the event has concluded. After they have been updated, members will be able to submit an online expense claim. If the event register is not updated within the allotted time period, please contact the event coordinator. What happens if I have forgotten to attach an additional receipt to my e-claim? If you've forgotten to submit a receipt for an e-claim, you won't be able to submit it via the member's portal. For reimbursement, forward all receipts to claims at opsu.org and include your name, union ID number, date of event, and name of the event. I have pre-approval to travel prior to the event date. How do I submit these expenses? You are able to submit expenses for up to seven days before and after the event date to cover additional expenses incurred due to travel or extenuating circumstances. Please attach pre-approval emails to the e-claim for full reimbursement. If you believe all your information and documentation has been inputted correctly and there is still an issue, please contact claims at opsu.org. If you have expenses to claim for an event that took place more than three months ago, you will need to send a paper claim with applicable receipts to claims at opsu.org. You must indicate that you wish to appeal to the first vice president treasurer for consideration.